May we see your invitation? Art groups got left, even groups got right. Master, I hope I served you well. More not, more not. Too soon. What's up you guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing like a discussionary style video going over the scenario in which, hopefully, knocking on wood doesn't happen, but the scenario in which that we did not get the Burning Crusade. Alright, so let's go ahead and set the scenario. Let's say we fast forward like about two or so weeks into the future, and it's February 19th, we're sitting at BlizzCon online, because COVID, and, um, you know, we're sitting there waiting for the announcement. Um, yeah, you're not getting it. So in the situation that they do decide to not release the Burning Crusade, or a progression of the Burning Crusade, I really believe that the initial reaction would probably be very volatile in some regards, just because a lot of people have invested a lot of time, effort, and just blood, sweat, and tears in some regards to try to get their tunes, gear, farm gold, just that way they can maybe experience the Burning Crusade from a different perspective than they did back in like 2006 or 2007, whenever it was released. Um, and you know, this is just something that you have to remember for a lot of people. Uh, the Burning Crusade was their first introduction into the game as a whole. Their first introduction to the game, the community, the lore. And, you know, for some people, it is because of that why it holds a special place in their heart. And for a lot of people, this is a chance for them to relive the past or get to do things that they wish they could have done 14 plus years ago, 15 plus years ago since it's 2021. So, you know, there's there's a lot at stake here uh, for a lot of people. Um, and, you know, think about it for the newer crowd. You know, we've heard so much about... Karazhan and Rose Lair and the difficulty from dungeons and so all we have is just the stories and so now listening to the stories we've been hyped up we've anticipated things you're starting to see a lot of new content creators come about because of it and so now the initial reaction from that would probably be very troubling and you know I feel like it would leave a really long-term lasting effect uh, moving forward not just for the classic community, but for the game as a whole. And that's what we're going to be looking at next, is the legacy of what would happen if this situation came to fruition. Alright, so the next section of this, I wanted to look at the legacy of Classic WoW, and just the game in general, if the decision was made to not release a Burning Crusade option for the player base, or a progression. So, the reason why this would be kind of important is just because it took so much for us to be able to get Classic WoW. And you know, it really did a lot for the game as a whole, not just from the retail perspective, not just from the classic perspective, but for the game in general, it did a lot because it brought back a lot of players, um, whether they had been old players or new players in general, just to see this content. Um, and I feel like in the situation where the Burning Crusade was not released, it would create a infamous legacy for the game just because it might be seen that this was just a one-off from Blizzard. Just as, okay, we've let you seen it all, go back to retail. Now, I personally don't believe that Blizzard would do this, um, but it's just, there's so many different factors going into this um, that the legacy of the game and how it would be moving forward in terms of the player base, community, and just the direction that it might go, I feel like would be completely altered because of the decision to not release the Burning Crusade. All right, just to kind of bring this video almost to like a semi-conclusion, um, just because this is a shorter discussional video, my final thoughts about the situation are that basically I personally feel like they will announce something at BlizzCon regarding the Burning Crusade. They will they will at least acknowledge um, the surveys. They'll acknowledge other things similar to that. Probably um, I I'm not 100% convinced that they'll probably give us a release date, if that makes sense. Uh, they might release like a time frame of when we can expect to see it, but I'm not sure if we will be getting an official release date, per se. Um, I really feel that um, they are smarter than they let off to be in terms of whether they would do it or not. Um, I feel that just the pure amount of negatives that would come from it, just from not releasing it, um, outweigh the benefits of you know, just not releasing it. So I personally feel like they will release the Burning Crusade. I just don't know when they would do it. Um, there's definitely the demand there. Um, I can see their concern with uh, 
keeping Classic WoW alive just because there is a select number of people within the community that absolutely love Classic WoW and they'll probably still be playing Classic WoW to the day they die. Um, so I feel like it's really important for them uh, to find a good balance because for some people TBC is going to be their home. But even if TBC was introduced, Classic WoW for some players will still be their home. And you know, I think as a community we need to respect that. Um, we've done a pretty decent job overall in terms of acknowledging um, the retail player base and the classic player base as equals in some regards. But with the inclusion of a third piece to the puzzle, um, I can see why Blizzard have been a little bit quieter than normal um, in regards of announcing information. Um, so I just, I, I feel that no matter what happens in a couple weeks, um, I'm still going to be playing WoW, um, whether it's with Blizzard or perhaps on private servers if the Burning Crusade um, is just upright not released. Um, if it is released though, I'm really going to double down and kind of start making sure I have everything that I really want from Classic in terms of gear, um, novelty items, uh, just because when I go to the end of the Burning Crusade, it's probably going to be a like full head force deep dive into everything. Just because I'll be so excited. I finally get the tank, I'll have a taunt. Ah, uh, Paladins, man. I just, I can't wait. I'm really excited. Um, but I'd really like to know your feedback. Um, do you agree with some of the stuff that I was talking about today? What would be your reaction to all of this? Um, once again, this is purely a hypothetical situation. So I don't expect everyone to be in the same boat of understanding as myself, um, just because this is a topic that I haven't really seen covered just yet, um, I guess in greater detail, um, and this is not really a greater detail style of video, this is just a kind of like a discussion starter almost. But yeah, no, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, I'm still working on the reputation guide for Thralmar in Hellfire Peninsula, so that should be out within a, probably about three or four more days. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed everything, and I will see you guys soon in the next one. Peace.